guys, Miss James everyone, welcome back to another gaming video. Now guys, I cannot be bothered anymore guys, I, I don't know, you know what, no, I'm just not, I cannot be bothered guys. The montage I'm doing right now guys, it's so close to being finished and guys, I just cannot be bothered to like, be away from um, uh, making videos. But guys, finally, finally, the gaming PC is right here as you see, um, it's actually really cool guys. Um, we got the mic here, we got a no mic coming through the headset, we got the audio working guys on Five Nights at Freddy's, I've worked it all out guys and it's working, so guys, episode 3 of Five Nights at Freddy's, guys, in today's video, we are going to be doing a part 2, let's see how far we can get guys, it gets scarier, I could not stop thinking about Five Nights at Freddy's guys, about how good the videos were and how like I how much I enjoyed them. I'm like I want to just continue guys, I want to continue with this. So the only strange part is that the fact that they don't give us five nights, it's four nights guys. But um who cares? Right guys, we're gonna play the first night, why not? Um by the way guys, um if you want to see my game pieces video, it's it'll be in the link in the description and in the end of the video which I'll put in the outro but um but yeah, if you want to see the game PC and all the specs of it, it's all there, guys. But anyway, guys, let's get into this game. Right. Oh. Okay, so we got... What's this? Wait. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Uh, hello and welcome to your new summer job at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here and to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old location, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but uh, I want to reassure you, Fazbury Entertainment is committed to family fun and above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility. They even let them walk around during the day. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <clears throat> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Hey, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, now that being said, no new system is without its kinks. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week, but complained about conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seemed to move around at night, and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So, while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that... The robots were never given a proper night mode, so when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. Uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch in the system, something about robots seeing you as an endoskeleton without a costume on and wanting the stuff you want to consume. So hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put it on any time and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually, anything that wandered in will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quartz modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> uh, but hey, you have lights, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. 
this one guys right here was scary-ish, didn't make any noise at all. That was frightening. Can we just set, can we just, can we just try and figure out why the heck it's so dark? I can barely see anything. I, I swear to God guys, it's my PC. But I can barely see anything. I don't know what to do. They were literally under the cellar and one just pounced at me and gave me a heart attack. I, I, I don't know what to do. I, I don't get it. Um, alright guys, I'm just, I'm just gonna look back guys on a video, just quickly, just so I understand it, because at the moment guys, that was frightening and also, I didn't understand what to do. So what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna cut the camera here and I'll get back to you. Okay guys, right, so we're currently back, um, now I know what we're doing, I've got some really bad news guys, so apparently you need to click on control, to turn on the lights, get to put on the mask when they see you, and we have to basically survive till 3am, press buttons, wear mask, survive until 6am, use flashlight, control, I didn't look at that guys, so that's what I did not look at, and that's why I couldn't see anything. So hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head, problem solved. You can put it on any time and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually, anything that wandered in will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quartz modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> uh, but hey, you have light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the lights, put on the Freddy head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up, cheese a cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. That's why I jump scared myself. When he does come by, he'll notice that I'm in this map. Shut up, Dwayne. Okay, guys, so that was the last time I So the whole plan in the video, by the way, guys, 
is it be it's for usually us guys to um to basically just um we do usually two parts guys so night two is going to be the last part of the video now if i'm looking at this correctly guys as you see here it's got the blue bunny and the chicken duck i'm sorry if i get it incorrect um and as you see here the box so guys does that mean that you need to do something i don't know we need to check this out guys get back into it uh just before wear mask uh you flashlight survive until 6 a.m right okay so not too much, but there is quite a lot, guys. So, if I'm looking right now, anything changed? Uh, hello? 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 Hey. Uh, see, I told you your first night wouldn't be a problem. You're a natural. Uh, by now I'm sure you've noticed the older models sitting in the back room. Uh, those are from the previous location, and we just use them for parts now. The idea at first was to repair them, uh... They even started retrofitting them with some of the newer technology. But they were just so ugly, you know? Oh. And the smell. Uh, uh, so the company decided to just go in a whole new direction and make them super kid-friendly. Uh, those older ones shouldn't be able to walk around. But if they do, the whole Freddy head trick should work on them too. So, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I love those old characters. Uh, did you ever see Foxy the Pirate? Oh wait, Foxy. Oh yeah, Foxy. Uh, hey listen, uh, that one was always a bit twitchy. Uh, I'm not sure if the Freddy head trick will work on Foxy. Uh, if for some reason he activates during the night, and you see him standing at the far end of the hall, uh, just flash your light at him from time to time. Those older models would always get disoriented with bright light. It would cause a system restart or something. Uh, come to think of it, might want to try that on any room where something undesirable might be. It might hold them in place for a few seconds. Uh, that glitch might have carried over to the newer models, too. Uh, one more thing. Don't forget the music box. I'll be honest, I never liked that puppet thing. It's always... thinking, and it can go anywhere. Uh, I don't think the Freddy mask will fool it, so just don't forget the music box. Um, anyway, I'm sure it won't be a problem. Uh, have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Let me use the tie. Guys, if I must be honest, we're probably gonna die to fall. We're probably gonna die to fall, see if I must be sure. Because, um... how to do it so foxy guys foxy is there you have to shine the light on him um same so when you have a child i think it's that chicken um uh hello hello uh, uh, uh see i told you your first night wouldn't be a problem you're a natural hi
what we need to do, guys, is we need to be faster when it... When, yeah, I know what it is now, guys. I know what it is. Let's get back into it. I know what it is. That's the music box. We keep on forgetting about the music box. That's what we got to remember, guys. It's the music box. <laughs> Double mask, guys. Just take it off. also very scary as well guys because you actually do get job scares for real now and it's a very really scary thing i'm gonna meet the call unfortunately i hate using this call because it keeps me confident oh guys i just didn't think you know. so that's the reason why um i want to check the boxy so guys you need to remember the boxy flash but you gotta keep on checking but guys how can i do that when like both things coming out like it's not that easy guys uh, if you see what i mean guys it's sort of just creepier because you, you do not pay attention to them and you know it, it's comforting when you get to talk about stuff you know